Hi everybody! Welcome to the Gantado unboxing of the Retron 1 HD. Oh yeah, have a swig, it's gonna be great. So let's take a look right there, we got the cartridge slot. We got the front with the two controller ports to power the reset, everything you would expect. Now let's get a better view of the whole thing. So what is that black little disc next to the cartridge slot? If anybody knows, I'd like to know. Please. So if these screws will ever get out, we can actually take a look at the main processor unit whenever it comes out. And I gotta say, I tested the quality like on a 4K television and a 1080p. It's not exact, but it's, it's decent for 40 bucks. I'm rather happy with it. We have the cartridge slot tied to the top circuit board with these cheap looking wires. Alright, so I'm wondering what's going on here. We got the cartridge slot and it's sending up the signal to this chip right here. And I want to know what's going on here. If anybody can figure it out. We got that microprocessor chip kind of towards the middle. Of course we got the HDMI to our upper right. In the lower right we got that can. If anybody knows what that is with the 12,000 I'd like to know. And then we got that small little black uh, rectangle to the bottom left of the actual microprocessor. The HDMI, the USB, the audio out. And my game collection, just cause, well part of it, but it looks kind of snazzy. Alright, now I think you've almost seen enough. If you want to get more detail, you can pause on some of the frames and get a closer look. Let's get it reassembled. Come on, get in there. Why you gotta be so difficult? Come on, get in there. Get in there. Don't be difficult. Come on now. Come on now. Is it gonna work? Is it gonna work? Oh shit, nah. Nah, it ain't gonna work, man. And overall, I gotta say, like, I'm rather impressed for 40 bucks on the build quality of this thing. It's light, but I actually like the controller that it came with more than the original NES controller, and that's saying a lot. It has the curvy um, left and right grips, and for people with larger hands, it's more comfortable. Alright guys, almost back together. Get that power button back in. And you just close it up, little smushy smush. Rotate it so it doesn't blow up. Okay, looks like it's safe. Get the screws back in. I don't mind spending $40 when I get something that's pretty close and portable like this. If I wanted to spend more money, I would just head over to Retro USB and buy their AVS for 185 bucks and get something a little bit more accurate. Or, if I want to go crazy, I could spend 450 to 500 bucks and get an analog T, depending on how truly accurate I want my NES experience to be. But if you're, you know, low on money, you're on a budget, your girlfriend will kill you if you spend too much, this is a good option for somebody. Because if you put a regular NES on a 4K or 1080p TV, it's going to look like garbage. So this is Dustin the Grinch signing out with the Retron 1 teardown. And if you guys have any information on the chip, please don't be shy. Share your information with GameTato. Like and subscribe. Have a great day.